Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all well. Today we've got a brand new Grady Judd video. Well, it's brand new to me today when I'm filming. It might not be brand new for you when you're watching this, but either way, this is a Lake Wells teen kills mum after she tells him to stop smoking. So, pretty crazy story, I guess. I appreciate you being with me today as I talk about two cases that are <clears throat> extremely unsettling to me. The first one I want to talk about is a family. And this family consists of mom and dad, hardworking people, live in an upper middle class neighborhood in Lake Wells. Four children, and dad goes to work like he always does. He works, as he says, an incredible amount so that his wife can stay home and take care of the four children and the house. So he goes to work, and he receives a frantic call from one of the children that you know, mom's being taken by ambulance to Lake Wells Hospital in exceptionally critical condition. This all happens just after about mm, 9.30 yesterday Early morning. Early in the morning, too. So dad goes to the hospital, rushes to the hospital, and determines from the hospital that mom's died of unknown causes. He goes and gets the daughter out of school. She's 14. And he goes home with his family where they're all grieving together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> At about 11.04, we get a phone call from the hospital. They said, We've just discovered this lady that died from unknown causes that was brought in has suspicious injuries. Mm -hmm. So immediately we go to the hospital and we rush to the mm -hmm. house. They think, the hospital thinks at that time possibly she has puncture wounds. And in fact she does. So we get to the house and here's this grieving family and they're shocked by all of a sudden there's patrol cars and homicide detectives that show up. And here's what we discovered. Seth Settle is 19 years of age. Mom takes daughter to school, comes home, and smell smoke in Seth's mm. bedroom. So she goes and she opens the door and she said, I've told you before about smoking in this house. Now quit smoking in the house. And she it's closes the door and he shoots her through the door. Did you hear what I said? Wow. He shoots his mama through the door. He's got a screw loose. There's an entrance wound and an exit wound, and she falls to the Jesus. floor. He jumps up, runs to where his 24-year-old brother is. It's a large house, around the corner, from the game room, from his bedroom, through the game room, around to mm -hmm. the main area of the house, and is screaming at his 24-year-old brother who's in the bathroom and doesn't hear what he says. 24-year-old mm. comes out, Seth has fled the house. He goes looking for his mother and finds her unresponsive in the game room <clears throat> on the floor by Seth's bedroom and of course dials 911. There is no blood. He doesn't well, know what happened. He didn't hear a blood. gunshot. Seth's fled. They call EMS, 
EMS cancels us, it's a medical event, mm. until they get to the hospital, dad now has a, arrived at the hospital, mom's deceased. They initially don't see any wound, they don't see any blood. What? And only later, when they're preparing to move mom, did one of the nurses notice all of a sudden there's a small amount of blood. And in fact, what has happened, she was shot. The medical examiner did the investigation this morning and what he determined, this in and out wound went directly through her heart. Her heart immediately quit beating, so there was no oh, blood to pump out. That makes sense. We arrest Seth, <clears throat> take him down to the station, <clears throat> and he confesses. But he colors the event in his best mm, interest. Cool. He tells us that he's depressed, and some of his friends confirmed to us that he had a girlfriend about a year ago. He said that mom opened the door to get on to me <clears throat> about smoking, and I was holding a gun to my head, and she told me to put the cigar out and close the door, and the gun accidentally oh, discharged. Yeah, right. We don't, I don't believe, believe that, that for a second. We don't believe that because, by all accounts, all accounts, even his admission that mom was a absolutely, totally wonderful person and the best mom you could ever have. We do a criminal history, not one blemish on anyone's name. Mom, dad, the four kids. This is truly the wonderful family next mm. door. And he kills his mom. We think he was angry. We think he was mad. We're absolutely confident mm. with the type of mom that Why this is. There's no way she would have closed that door with her son holding no. a gun to his head. That's our supposition. He fled, went to a friend's house, told him I accidentally shot mom, fled past her, didn't help, didn't dial 911, mm -hmm. hollered something at the brother on the way out of the door. So where are the guns? Well, he tells the detectives, well, I threw them off of the Chalet Suzanne Road into a, a wooded area. So after hours of searching, we finally determined that another friend had come to the house and he had asked the other friend to take these two firearms away. So he's wasting the friend gave us the firearms, too. said he wanted me to take the firearms because he was afraid he'd hurt himself. Of course, the friend didn't know mom was shot. He just knew that mom had died unexpectedly and he was just trying to hold the firearms mm. for Seth. Dad, the other brothers, no one had any idea that Seth even had these two firearms. And he's too young to possess firearms. The firearms aren't stolen. But at the end of the day, we have, without argument, the most wonderful mom in the world who's now deceased because the 19-year-old kid shot and killed her. I can't believe, I can't begin to tell you the horror of this mm -hmm. event. I had the opportunity to talk to Dad, who's just a great, hardworking, good man. And I can tell you the only people that are more shocked and stunned by this than us in law enforcement are the immediate family. Yeah. No one ever could see this coming. But for whatever reason, he shot and killed his mom. Are there any questions about that before I go to the next one? Yeah, so you said that um, it wasn't a stolen gun, but Dad didn't know that he had guns, and you think that's how that. So where exactly? He said he bought them off of the street. Hmm. Now, 
they're not reported stolen. Mm, that doesn't yeah. mean that they're not that someone didn't steal them and sell them to him or and it never got registered in yeah. the computer as a stolen firearm, but there is zero indication that the firearm stolen. He just bought them. Some friends had them. There was a cigar he was smoking. There was no drugs or anything. No drugs. Black and mild cigar. Did he show any remorse? No. He was very stoic. Mm. It wasn't that he was unapologetic. He was just very stoic. He said he, he was a great mom. It was an accident, but he admitted pointing the gun at the door. Can you share the age of the victim? The victim's 52. I, uh, my, my heart and prayers go out to the entire family. That's not supposed to happen. No. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Okay? Wow. Well, there you go. A poor family. Now, you know, the dad's a widower. The kids have lost their mom and they're going to lose their brother as well because he'll be going down for that. Just sad all round, really, isn't it? But, well, just because she didn't want him to smoke in the house. Of all the things... To kill over. Uh, I do enjoy watching Grady Judd. He's a great man. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you very soon.